Hello everyone, my name is Nasir Nawaz and I'm registered migration consultant in Australia. Today I'll talk about a very big news, especially uh, opening up the subclass 491. In New South Wales, it has 13 RDAs, Regional Development Australia. In these all RDAs, I'll try to put forward the information which RDAs are open for which stream. There are mainly three streams because I'll be referring these streams in my coming words or statements and I'll explain these streams what is stream one. Stream one is living and working in regional New South Wales. If you are working and living in New South Wales as a past 12 months and you're working in your nominated uh, nominated field then you are eligible for stream one stream two is graduate regional graduate if you've been studying in regional New South Wales uh, in previous 24 months you are eligible for regional stream two stream three is if you are living outside of regional New South Wales and you have a job of a letter right now you are eligible for stream three now I'll put forward all the information uh, one by one for the RDAs uh, by naming them and which stream is open for which RDA. First of all, Central Coast. Central Coast is opening on 1st of March and they are opening only for stream one. I have already explained the stream one, so I'll be referring only stream with the numbers. Central Coast is op open, will be opening in stream one on 1st March and they will be reconsidering this in April 2021. Uh, Central West, it's right now, it's closed. They may be opening soon, but there is no certain news yet about this opening. Far South Coast, Far South Coast is open and the news is they are, they are open in all three streams. Say for instance, if you are living and working in Far South Coast for the past 12 months and you are eligible, you must apply for that. Stream two, if you are graduated in regional New South Wales, you must apply. Stream three, if you are living outside of regional New South Wales and now you have a job offer letter for far South Coast, you are eligible. Uh, Hunter RDA, it's right now, it's closed. And Elavra, right now, it's closed. Mid North Coast is open, but it's just accepting the application for stream one only. Uh, Mid North Coast is done. Northern Inland, uh, Northern Inland is open for all three streams. I have uh, explained about the stream, stream one, two, and three already. Northern Rivers is accepting the application only for stream one. Uh, Orana is accepting the application for all three streams. Riverina is accepting the application for all three streams. On top of that, it is accepting the application for family sponsor stream. So if you are eligible for family sponsor stream, you must apply for that. Uh, Southern Inland is accepting the application for all three streams, which I, I have already explained. Sydney RDA, not Sydney Metropolitan, Sydney RTA, if you are eligible, and it's accepting the application in all three streams. If you are eligible for or any of the stream, you must apply for that. But if you have doubts about it, if you are eligible or no, you can discuss with us, you can have a consultation with us, and we can assess your profile and let you know, well, if you are eligible or no. My understanding is, this is not the facts, that's my analysis. If some RD is open for, say for instance, for stream one, and they don't have the enough application just to consume their quota or seat allocation, they may be opening for stream two or they may be opening for stream three. So you must have, you must keep an eye on these RDA's website, or you can contact us or follow us our Facebook page, follow us on uh, YouTube. To understand what's happening now what are the updates uh, if you like this video and if you want us to make more videos like this and updated news about it uh, sh like our channel share our channel subscribe our channel comment it here and I'll definitely try to answer your all the questions thank you